Dear friends, if you don't want to continue with the Mac OS Big Sur beta version and uh, you want to go to the previous version of Mac OS that is Mac OS Catalina then you need to download the Mac OS Catalina and create a bootable USB and boot from the USB and install it. So make sure you took your backup of all your data before doing anything. So I will share you how to do it. First you need to click on this Apple symbol and click on about this Mac and you can see Mac OS Big Sur here. Click on this software update. Here you can see updates for this Mac are managed externally. Click on this detail symbol and you need to click restore to defaults. Then only you can download Mac OS Catalina. So click restore defaults. Then it will ask you admin password. Give administrator password. Then wait for some time. It will check for the updates. So you can see the software update option has been changed. So now you can download the Mac OS Catalina from the App Store. Go to App Store and search for Catalina. So you can see here Mac OS Catalina. Click View. Click on Get. Click to download. So it will download around 8.23 GB. So it will take some time. I will post this video after that. I will come back. After the download, it will show this copy of the Mac OS Catalina installer application is too old. Just quit this message. If you are going to the applications, the Catalina installation file will be there. It's here. So next we need to create the bootable USB for Catalina. So for that first you need to connect your USB. So I have connected the USB. Then you need to erase the USB. So for erasing go to the utilities. Then disk utility. Here you can see the USB drive. Just right click. and click erase give a name USB and uh, format it as Mac OS extended and uh, scheme as GUID partition map click erase so you need to use at least a 16 GB size USB disk because uh, the size of the Mac OS Catalina is around 9 GB it's erased click done on here then we need to open the terminal and type the command sudo space then go to the applications right click on this install macOS Catalina and click show package contents click on contents you can see resources here you can see create install media just drag this to here then give a space and type dash dash volume space then go to the computer and drag this USB here Then click enter. So it will ask administrator password. So it will ask you to erase the hard disk. If you wish to continue type Y. So type Y. Enter. So it will erase the hard disk. And then it start copying the data. And it will create the bootable USB. So it will take some time. 
you need to give at least uh, 45 to 1 hour for the creation of the USB. So here you can see the bootable media has been successfully created. After this you need to restart your Mac and press Alt in the keyboard to boot from the USB. So I am going to restart the Mac while restarting press Alt in the keyboard. When you are pressing Alt it will come to this boot options. So you need to select this install macOS Catalina option and select this up arrow. Then it will boot from the USB. So it has been booted to the repair utility. Here you need to go to disk utility and click continue. Here you can see the hard disk drive. Select the hard disk which you want to install Catalina and click on erase click erase click done click close click install mac os click continue click continue agree agree on this select the hard disk which you erased click install continue then it will start installing mac os catalina it will take some time it will restart several times so make sure you have your backup before doing erase or doing anything on the hard disk so the installation has been successfully completed so select your location click continue continue select your wireless network click continue here you need to give a computer name So our Catalina operating system is ready to use. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Please do subscribe for more videos.